bastard principal. So what kind of person would a bigger tar uh, would be a bigger target than Madarame? I wonder. It has to be someone who's the talk of the town. It's quite a vague prerequisite. Don't we have any more specific ideas? An evil overlord. <laughs> It ain't some kind of video game. I will need a lid before we can begin anything. We'll just have to look for what uh, for that as we go. If only there was a big target just lying around for us. Hey, hey tomorrow's field trip is to the TV station, right? isn't it? Maybe our next stop will be a celebrity. Let's see here. Oh shit! I think I do, actually. I don't think I have anything, actually. Oh, shit. Wait, Kasumi. Oh, wait, that's... That's the meshes I got. Um... Is there anything I want to check out? think of here? It would have to be here pretty much, no? Hmm? We're gonna hunt for prey this early in the morning, or early in the day, isn't that a bit risky? It's better that it's early yet. There's a lot more high schools around this time of day. People are more careful at night too. Am I supposed to listen in here? I get to mean there's more idiots who would fall for our scams. Should I really be close to that? I can't. I just can't get any girls' phone numbers. Is there an easy way to steal their heart? Steal their heart? Kind of like those fantasies, say. Eh? I think you're onto something. I think this might really work for us. Try using something that, like that for one of your lines. Okay. I wonder if the since they've got new DVDs, is there new stuff here as well? Oh, welcome. Hello? I saw you. Get back here. She really following me? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> You're just going back to the scene of the... This book is so good, I just can't stop reading. I hope the next volume comes out. Wait, that was something- I had an idea. Oh yeah, that was what I- I need to go buy, uh, Drugs. <sighs> I'm not an optimist always oh, because I have an eye chart on this one. What do you want today? I want to buy- head to the exam room. Because you got new stock. Oh, shit. Wait, I can buy accessories now? There could be serious consequences if a minor were to become dependent on drugs. Oh, I forgot to eat yesterday. Oh, sorry, I'm just talking to myself. I've developed a fantastic new drug. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Some medicines require you to take them between meals, so make sure to read the directions carefully. What do you want to do? There could be serious consequences if a minor were to become dependent on drugs. Make sure you avoid... Oh, she just talks, huh? By which I mean, don't take multiple drugs at the same time. Prepare yourself for the ultimate drug. Some medicines Can I be a pickup artist if I work sure in a pickup truck carefully. industry? You're about to experience my best work ever. I'm very proud of it. It's amazingly effective. You want to try it out? I've Wait, but this seems so good. Prepare yourself for the ultimate drug. 
What do you want to do? Ooh, but this sounds so effective. good. You want to try it out? This sounds so good. I'm very proud of it. Invigorate one of the best skins in the game. Yeah, this up. seems hella good. You're about to experience my best work ever. I'm very proud of it. But who would I even give this what to, though? To I can't give it to now, Anne. Don't drink alcohol and take medicine at the same time. Oh, you're still in high school. I can't give it to Anne. I can't give it to the cat. So annoying. <sighs> Ryuji doesn't oh, want SP. It's oh wait, this is so, this is so you good for both. This is so good for Prepare both Ryuji and uh, Yusuke because they generally use HP for their damage. You can trust me. <sighs> so the only one I can Excuse equip me. this to is myself. To eat yesterday. Oh, sorry. I'm just talking to myself. What do you want to do? I've developed a fantastic new drug. It doesn't only sound good, it is good. Yeah, so could also wait to buy it, it'll get cheaper. Hmm. Okay, which one? Hmm. Holy Jesus, that's an auto top. The results for each one. Ooh! Now I can. Oh, I can buy. Uh, levels 3 is 7 SP per battle turn. Ooh, that's. That's so much. If a light damaging skill costs 3, and AoE costs 10... So I can buy full revives now, but they're very expensive. You don't need I still have some beads. This is also really crazy good. So it's a really good, there's really good medicine. But I don't really need an uh, upgrade for accessories. And uh, the thing is, the only one I can really equip... Okay, so the only one I can equip the, uh, the SP pa thingy patch to is me. Because neither Yusuke nor Ryuji really cares that much about SP, so the HP ones would be better for them. Especially we can also also get even more thanks to Baton Pass shenanigans. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh yeah. So it counts when- oh, so it counts even if you battle pass to someone who has it. Yeah, I got them. I mean, it would be on MC that I would equip it. And MC is good because I use a lot of skills on MC, so... Hmm, yeah, that's really good, actually. Do we have time today? I was thinking we need to make good on our deal. No time to like press right, we can start hammering those basics in, into you anytime. Are we gonna spend some time? Yeah! I feel like I'm not gonna get as many opportunities, and it's just five rank ups, so... How about we meet in Inkashir Park? Sure. Oh. Sorry, I I never know when this phone is actually... Why is her phone so ass? Why is her phone so giga-ass? I think that's good. Not bad, you're pretty flexible, you can catch on so fast. It looks like I'm struggling to keep up, though. And that's saying a lot since I didn't struggle to keep up with fucking Ryuji when he was running. At this rate, you'll have the fundamentals down in a heartbeat. I am, yeah. Aching just from mimicking. So a lot of the harmony between the internal and external oblique muscle. Internal and external oblique muscles? We're just getting started. I knew it. I can't hear it. Expert level gymnastics are beautiful, but they demand a lot of stretching. All right, let's continue. Yeah, you have to be like fucking fold in half. Fucking ah. Good effort. I think that's enough stretching for now. Good effort. Uh, I'd like to continue with our training, but I'm actually not going doing so great at the moment. I'm not sure I can manage anything so strenuous. What? 
Injury? Uh, I'm not sick or anything physically, I'm just... I'm doing perfectly fine. I was do, you thinking... do you remember how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? I've been feeling like I'm stuck in this slump. Well, that happens to literally everyone in every field. You always hit peaks and valleys. It's the same with golfers, because there are golfers that have, like, won, and then they disappear for, like, five years to then come back to top, like Rick, Ricky Fowler. Like, he was so good, and then he was gone for, uh, like, so long, and he just fucking never did anything. Remo and now he's back to being, like, a top golfer again. Recently. Personas equipped with Invigorate 3 as a normal skill starts, uh, start appearing near level 75! No matter how much I practice, I can't get any better. I went, I went to my coach about it, but she told me to take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to think about who I really am. Well, yeah, it's always important to take breaks. You can't keep full throttle all the time because you're like... <laughs> Crash. The idea not to stop doing... Uh, the idea is not to stop doing the gymnastics, just she wants me to take a break. Yeah. That's f smart. I never had an issue that that practice couldn't solve, but now I have no idea what to do. Just help. You know. And if we're doing uh, not doing gymnastics, will you still keep going? Sure. Thank you so much. I heard my coach praising me. She says Kasumi's greatest weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastics was a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump. I got taller for one, and there were some other complications. I can't move how I want anymore. Like it's not even... Like it's not my own body. Well... If you grow... If you have a growth spurt, I can... Get... That, I guess. I kind of fell into a depression, it got pretty bad. But, but when you helped me in Shibuya, something. I... When I saw how fearless you are, how confident you are, I knew you were. Hmm. If I stick with you, I think I can learn how to be confident. Then follow me! Yes! <laughs> Strange one, I didn't think you'd accept. Well, I'll try to return the favor through our deal. What does this give? What? Wait. Pog confidence, mental health, check important. <laughs> Allows you to avoid being surrounded by enemies in palaces. Well, I'll be damned. Wait, but then I... Okay. That's actually, like... It's both good and bad. Because it's not... It, like, it, it's when I make a mistake that that's the only time that can happen. But it basically, like, saves me when I make mistakes, I guess. Can I use tumbling? If a shadow attacks you head on in a palace, you'll be able to avoid being surrounded by enemies and turn the situation into a normal encounter or an ambush. Fuck, was that ring? <laughs> what was that ring? I should go and have a meeting I'll with my coach. I need to get going for Jay, but I'll make sure you don't forget it. this. Thanks to custom training, I feel like my stamina increased. Alright. Ooh. FP HP gain without training. Should get my belongings and get at home. And then I have a movie to finish. Thank you very much for joining me. Are you feeling sore after all that? You place stress on muscles that you don't use very often. Please remember to massage them out before you sleep. How the fuck do you massage yourself? Uh, but I'm so glad you accepted my request. Uh, I was so relieved I suddenly got really hungry and that my stomach couldn't stop growling. <laughs> did you eat? 
He has an extra large beef bowl with a soft boiled egg with pork soup salad on the side. My guys has hallucinated that. It would have been nice to have a big meal like that. But since you're helping me out with it, I figured I should maintain my... <laughs> I think you can... You, you, I think you can eat enough. I, or I think you can... You, I you think you can get away with eating a lot. I hope you can help me next time. I'll be reaching out again. Well then, talk to you soon. I'm fairly certain she can get away with eating. That. Uh, Ay! Ay! My shoulder. Blade. Ay! I know how you're going to the TV, TV station. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The TV station is tomorrow. I think I might be. Might find our next target there. Hmm. We're always hearing gossip about the dark sides of celebrities. You're absolutely right. I watched Oshinoko. I know all about the dark sides of celebrities. Totally. Truly. With that much money, they've probably got their fingers in all sorts of this dirty business. That phrasing has quite the moral ring to it. What? Did you always react to first? We got to observe a live recording of a show, right? We're gonna be on TV. We just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearance would be of like two seconds. Try not to pull any fanciful stunts to garner attention. <laughs> oh, hello. Have you been getting a lot of spam mail lately? How are they getting my information? Dude, that's- I don't know that- uh, how- how- actually, actually... How the fuck do they actually find- No, wait! Yeah, like, how the fuck do they find your email, actually? With this spam mail shit. You remember the cyber attack and some of people's personal information was leaked? I heard about those hackers, I heard they've been causing damage around the world. They act like they're fighting an unjust system, but they're still a problem to people like us. Thank you, the curry was delicious. Any fucking crossword? No. To the movie. I should write something. <laughs> yes, let's finish it. Please, guts, come on, go up. Stranger is just another word for enemy, right? Sir, wait! I, I'm human! I'm still human! It's a story about people trying to survive in a city infested with zombies. <sighs> Everyone's losing it. I think the humans are scarier than the zombies. Yeah, that's... Oh. That's the thing about all zombie stuff, right? Every single time, it's... Like, this zombie apocalypse stuff. Every single one of these shows, or movies, or anything... It always ends up being... It's not the zombies that is the scary part. You all, they always make it about how humanity is the problem, you know? Every single zombie movie. There is not a single zombie movie where they, the human, like the humans aren't the bigger problem. From what I know, at least. So we finished watching The Running Dead, huh? The Running Dead. The Running Dead. Uh. <laughs> Guts. Come on. Up! No, it's still not three. Okay. Well then. Man. Shing. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. Wow. Could the reason for them recruiting sponsors? To help with TV shows be the fact that they need money to create the TV shows and the sponsors will pay the money? I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor related product placements. Nah. Nah. You don't say. To sum things up. Ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Huh. Don't tell... 
there is no way you didn't know that commercial breaks is for funding the show. Everyone knows that. Chill, man. <laughs> Come on. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Mm-hmm. This get any more obvious? It's easy to understand. Well, I guess you could say that. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. Nah! You don't say! The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. What are we? Five-year-olds? Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna last. <laughs> Hey, yo, come on. What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. M my apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it. Who does that jerk think he is? Yeah, an, a an ass. Hey there. You want to be on TV? Holy Jesus, that's a fucking good voice for being some kind of a uh, sussy person. Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> God damn, that's a sleazy voice. Yuck. School trip. Yeah, hello? Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. That's it. Gone. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Fucking. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? Money? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Oh, wait, she's here with us. Well then, uh... Yeah, get the fuck away. Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. Huh. I thought that... Eh. Really? Really? I mean, I guess lower production costs situations would require that. Because anything, anytime I've seen like any higher production cost, they always have the fucking ca the cables completely. No, never mind. Actually, yeah. I, now that I think about it, I was thinking about like the uh, I was thinking about like LEC and stuff when they have like the cameras. And I guess yeah, the cable yeah they do have cables on the floor when they just walk around. So yeah, they would need someone who just like keeps a check on that. Oh yeah, the blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. <laughs> Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it! <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> oh, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. <laughs> The long cables. Oi, oi, oi. What a battle. I'm so pissed off. 
You're when are you not? Are we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? Because you couldn't shut up. This is bullshit. Going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. <laughs> Why would that make you feel better? Quiet down, will you? Yeah. Dumbass. Get how you feel though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow too. Wait, it's not only one day. No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Being phantom thieves ain't easy. <laughs> and that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. <laughs> hmm. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Wait, where are we? Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here. Wait, where are we? It looked delicious. What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium. Then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there too. All right, let's go. I'll they show you just how courageous I am. They have an amusement park in the middle of a business area. How the fuck do you work with all that noise of an amusement park? Scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. Yeah, don't puke in my bag. But uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. I thought we weren't going to the roller coasters. Uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Hello. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? That is the case. Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Filming together? Uh, where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Is that supposed to be... Filming? Huh? What? You a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. That's kind... yeah. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's Why a does briefing for tomorrow's song? recording that I have to attend. Briefing tomorrow's recording? Why does so he have gloves on? Have cake, now? cake? No, I pancakes. Lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> this guy is. This guy is a tiny bit awkward. Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Uh, he's quite awkward. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. The yeah, well, I don't know if you would call cakes pancake, or I don't know if you would call pancakes cakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. <laughs> what you calling him a clown? He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. Huh? Says you. Hello. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get a dome town. Let's say it was called Pancake Boy. Hmm. Yeah, where are we? Hello? Oh shit. We were far away, huh? Arcades, spas, theme parks, and more. You'll become a dating expert. Alright. But I haven't even unlocked dating yet. Like I can't even. Yeah. You can also invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. Hmm. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? You don't have to come with us. I feel like I'm gonna puke. 
Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. Dude. I'm pretty good with uh, with rides, actually. It's actually worse for me. Uh, riding a car is worse for me than riding any like entertainment ride. I think the only time I started feeling it a little bit was when I ro so I rode like uh, a thing where you sit in. So you sp you sit in one of those spinny things that go like this. So it's like it. The thing you spin, the thing you sit in, spins around, and then you spin around, and then you go up and down, right? So I rode that like five times in a row, and I think I started feeling a little bit sick after that. But generally speaking, any entertainment ride, I have never had any issues with actually. Wait, do you have any real counter? It's interesting to keep track of it. Wait, do you have any for real counter? Huh? For what now? This is why I spoke against it. For what now? Dude, it's not fair. Oh, using your cat hood as an excuse. Only at times like this. <laughs> anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? For real counter counts as how often someone says for real. I do not have a for real counter, no. <laughs> Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Well then. Uh I'll try not to start out too much. Can I go return this DVD now? Is it open? Oh, nice. What would you like? It's kindness and proficiency that I have, right? So I should got get this then. I don't think I'm gonna be watching that though. <laughs> I read somewhere once that Ryuji says it like 70 times. For real? <laughs> I don't know art, but the press conference was a masterpiece, but wasn't that timing too perfect? It was right at the end of the exhibit, it's obvious that there's some ulterior motives. They spent so much money on all of those ads, the people back in Madarame must be panicking. It's every man for himself in this world. It's pretty rotten when I think about it. Mm, I kind of want to go explore this place, just exploring it. Jeez. We have a target we haven't identified. Oh, I can do that in the evening? How many lingers me? Okay. Oh wait, she's. Oh wait, they are here too. The heck. What are you gonna do what today? Time for the you do the now. Oh. This wish to validate for your reputation is one that many young people are said to visit here. One has the opportunity to view the fantasies of humans. I don't know. Where there are a variety of fantasies available for perusal there, and all outside of the palace are strange. These fantasies, they are the cognition of others given form. They will undoubtedly support your efforts. Do such a look? No. I don't know. Can we with theater over in Shibuya? What will you do? Uh, I don't know. Not this time. Sorry. Then get back to it. Talk to us again when you want to hear the details of your special assignment. We're really busy, you know. You'd better not be slacking off. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I was gonna go explore this place. What was in here? Welcome. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh yeah, wait, I can only get something here at the crochet thingy. Did I have new stuff? No, I only I'm only sitting on four and four is the maximum, so can't do anything here. Need more stuff. And uh, there was a for real in the background talk just now. <laughs> 
Moving right along into this part of the game, I was playing this morning, just complete the dungeon you'll be doing soon. Okay. Here for popular sh chunky katsu. But we're sold out. Of course. This just seems to be okay, it's only it's only daytime. Welcome, you're selling our hot fresh Chinese buns here. I think these were okay value, but not worthwhile. Oh Jesus, wait, there's so many in like this alley now actually. The old man hasn't come here yet, no wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't feel like bad mouthing my customer, but he makes so much trouble. Old man making trouble. Hey, do you think they're talking about this elderly man causing trouble in Kichijoji? Hey, this ain't no place for a young one like you if looking for something around here. The elderly trouble the conf The elderly troublemaker, oh boy. So even kids like you know about him. The old man's out of control, he takes drinks from strangers, he starts fights, and then when he gets in trouble he causes a ruckus and tries to smooch money off people. What's creepy is the more trouble he makes, the wider his smile gets. Got a name? Oh yeah, the old man's always shouting his name over and over. Heiji Ono. Yeah, that's the name. Okay. I don't have got a name over target, but you know, I can't be that hard on him. He's around my age, dad's age. When he complains about his joints hurting on rainy days, I can't help but feel sorry for the old man. I wish he didn't hang around here, but stayed warm with his family instead. Probably doesn't have a family though, so you might sound awfully sympathetic, but I know you really think he's a pain in the ass. Well, yeah, I'm not denying that. Mm. His joints hurt on rainy days, okay, poor guy. I think we got all the info we need, why don't we talk about it in the hideout? Huh, so his joints hurt on rainy days. So that's like a hint to go in on a rainy day, right? This shit's fucking sus. Mm. I don't know if my nose can handle this. I didn't know you were into incest. If you're not, let's get out of here. Aha, uh -huh, so I can still not talk about that stuff. Okay. Yes. Thank you for stopping in. I believe these were like high value. I, be I uh, bought popcorn bombs. I believe this was only open at night. Did I have anything else to do? This is something uh, new. I haven't done this, so... Oh. Oh, oh I can't go in there. Never mind. Darts? Can I do that now? I'm not talking about Madarame, but I guess there's, that's no surprise given how well known he is. He ain't a real artist, just a skeevy, slime pig acting like a person of culture. But art and culture are fine and all, but in the end we're all human. Morality aside, money is important. I understand how it can become a person's top priority. Seriously, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Money ain't everything. What, can I do dar darts now? Oh shit. Welcome. Hey. You can play builders at this place too. It's up to you whether you want to play darts or billiards. What do you play? Want to play darts or billiards? Wait, what do I get from billiard? As clubs unlock later. I can already play? Yeah. I was here with uh, Ryuji right after the Madurabe thing. But what is billiards? I haven't played billiards. Darts can be done either day or night, very flexible, you can max out your baton ranks in short order. Hmm. Wait, question. Uh, well, if I ask a question, then I think it's fine. Um, so darts, everyone, every character has their own uh, baton rank, right? R right? So every, like, character has their own rank. And when I came here with Ryuji, both of our ranks went up, right? Builders is for technical damage. Oh. 
Okay. But if I do this now, it's only my MC, right, that will go up with baton rank. Did I have anything else to do, really, though? Maybe I'll just play billiards because I haven't done this, so that would be something new. Time will pass if you play billiards, however, you, you will have the ability to invite your teammates to play with you. By concentrating, you may be able to improve an unexpected social stat. Oh! You can also deepen your bond with your team members. What do you want to Let's do? get everyone over here so Billy's right. Yeah. Thank you. The 800 yen. Wait, everyone's getting over? Oh, well neat. Hello. Yo, let's play some billiards. Some pool. That should do it for now. You look pretty spiffy when you're holding a cue stick. I had a billiard table before, or well. Pool table. I guess you say pool table, right? I'm seeing whoever you invite for darts. Okay. Have you played somewhere before? You do seem to know some unexpected stuff. Well, I'm fucking terrible at this. Not bad. What a tease. I think we're in for a good show here. Yeah. Look, I have played, but I'm not good. Oh, we're playing nine ball? Form is really important, huh? If you don't make a clean shot, the ball's gonna curve. That's not the... Uh, that's not the one I use. I use the newbie one with the uh, fucking... The hole. That seems the easiest for me. I know that like... Uh, the more professional ones is to have it li lying on top, but I could never get the stick to not like fly out off without uh, like locking it. That seems like a really difficult one hold though. Like what is that? Like... Like that? That was fun, huh? Even if you don't win, it's fun just to think the balls into the pockets. Glad to see everyone having fun, I gotta say, though. Wow. Thanks for playing Billiards. It looks like you've learned to present yourself a bit more attractively, huh? Wait, I got Charm? Oh. That was so much fun! Oh, I got uh, both Ryuji and An thingy up? Okay. Sorry to interrupt your fun. Billis has a lot of intric intricacies, doesn't it? I'm glad you've taken a like into the game. If you'd like to learn more about it, there's a book I'd recommend reading. It's called Expert Billiards. <laughs> it covers everything from the basics to practical application. Practical application? Oh wait, I mean for playing, probably. The only problem is it's quite a rare book. You might have some difficulties finding it. You, ha you may have a better chance of getting it at a specialty shop. That sells sport supplies. I haven't found such a shop yet, though. Oops, I didn't mean to hold you right as you were leaving. Please do not do come again. A book on billiard chart. Next time we're free, we should check to see if we can find a sporting goods store. I don't know if... I haven't seen one of those. If I'm not mistaken. Bye. Fuck. Uh, I would have checked your po baton rank first. If you have anyone still at rank 1, you Mr. want them to at least rank on. 2. Well, I do. Because that's the first time I went there, so... And I think that was my first, like... Time with the option of going there, so... That book helps you with those technical ranks. Once you have to find it, I'll find it in time. I am an explorer, so I'll find it no matter what, at some point. From yesterday? Yeah, and everyone's fucking excited. Aren't you as looking stupid now? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. His hands look awkward. It's the high school or his, Goro or his stance. Lloyd Bannings. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. 
Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? The Phantom Thieves? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master oh. artist Madarame. I guess not. There it is! All of this Phantom Thief excitement has caught your attention oh, to Oh, wait, it's actually. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? Nah, oh, shit, he's gonna call us criminals or something, isn't he? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, shit. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? Who can tell, right? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. I mean, yeah, you can wish for stuff to exist, right? Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <laughs> <sighs> Don't you look stupid for calling him uh, that he's not popular now. But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Oh, there we go. Of course. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. Helping their victims. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. Yeah, I knew he was gonna fucking call us out on it. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. I mean, it's called... Uh... Me and words again. Uh... Vigilante, vi, 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 vig, vigilant, vigilante, something like that. I don't know the word for like vi, vigilantism or something. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I mean. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I get his point, but. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these phantom thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi kun mm. about the phantom thieves. Oh, shit. No, not us. Not First, us three. Please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. Shut up, Ryuji. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. Hmm. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. What? <laughs> I don't. 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 Not me. Ah, shit. All right. Let's try asking this student here. Ah, come on. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? Ah, shit. Yeah. Ha. They do more than the cops. Let's be fucking confrontational. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. <laughs> Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. Haha. <laughs> Kid on L play chess again. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, they kinda Oh wait, that Wait, but that guy would be Kira then though. And I actually look more like L. Although, my character doesn't really look that much like L, though. But that guy looks way... Actually, that guy looks almost completely like Kira. Almost. Except he has a slightly longer hair. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. Ah, shit. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? 
If his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? That would... That... That would be like saying nobody can ever change their opinions, though. Like, that's undermining people's ability to, like, fucking change their own opinions. None of these options really fit. They only target- I don't think that. What would you think? Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well, this is my opinion on the topic. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. What? Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. Hmm. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. Yes, you're not wrong. The it is... It is... A lot of power that could be used badly. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. It could be that what seems to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. As the holder of protagonist and you must honor your <laughs> It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. Well, I mean, it makes total sense. In his position. So to say. Because... He can't admit that what they're doing is good, because if he admits that, then he's Im admitting that, that what he's doing is not working. Right? So he can't admit that they're good. Because that would be admitting that what the police are doing is useless. He doesn't look like Kira, he's the pancake. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm right. Gentlemen thieves steal for the challenge, hence they generally steal from master criminals. Gentlemen thieves. Well, I don't know if there's ever been like a non fictional gentleman thief, right? That's the thing though. The existence of the phantom thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. Wait, can you reveal that? He can't reveal- he can't, he can't say that. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. Hey, you what? He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. Okay, so here's the thing, yeah? He's not wrong. But, in the situations that we have been, there have been no other option of doing the right thing. That stuff about the police, do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry, I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep going, okay? <laughs> He's leaving. She's leaving him behind. Oh, it's you. And here's the confrontation. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. For what? To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Hmm. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Hmm. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, 
I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. Hmm. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. Elaborate. Lack of true strength, you say? What is true strength then? Define true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Oh, you think they're cowardly, huh? So you don't think they would actually stand up to a real baddie? Hmm, I'm kinda putting myself in a hole here. You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. <laughs> if it's alright with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? I mean, I guess... That's fine. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. This is... I feel like this is kind of playing at the like at death note in a way you know i feel like this kind of plays at that in a way i guess you can call it my detective's intuition <laughs> kidding of course you know liking to me wait this counts as a confidant we're not even Remotely like allies yet. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Oh, really? So you're saying the police is corrupt then? Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. Wait, is this it the shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity? Isn't this the royal version of the speech? With the birth of the justice persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Has this really make justice best confidence in each game? You think so? Hmm. Don't also stay staying for it. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's the kind of aggression. Hmm. So now we need a justice one. Okay. Yes. We should exchange contact info. And registered. Hmm. Well. I hope to see you again sometime soon. Of course, most famous examples of gentleman thieves would be Sorrow and Arsene, as you deduce. They're fictional. The manga anime Lupin the Third is actually inspired by Arsene. The titular Lupin is the grandson of Arsene Lupin. Hmm. Hmm. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. I mean, yeah, I feel like, yeah, generally speaking, this, this confidant was reworked in Royal. It was story-based, it was story-based like Morgana, Igor, etc. And now it's normal like other confidants and you need to spend time with him. Oh, so they reworked it. Okay, interesting. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. <laughs> That's judging a book by its cover real quickly there, Ruji. Come on, let's go. 